Hey everybody, James with Love My Pups. My British Supply, Tammy's running the phone for me today, so she's gonna add comments on this as well as we talk about this. All right, so we're going to talk about swimmer puppies. What the heck am I doing with Teddy Ruskin here, or whatever his name is? Well, it's very hard to show you this. I did a video before on, on uh, swimmer puppies, and the puppies are wriggling around like crazy. Actually, Tammy was doing the taping, so I thought I'd do another one with having a, te a teddy bear as my mannequin, because you can really get a better idea about what's going on. So, swimmer puppy. What is a swimmer puppy? A swimmer puppy is a puppy where you will see that typically it's bigger, fatter puppies with a good mum with lots of milk, where you'll get a puppy or two that will have their back legs out like this. They will never, at, at about, what Tammy, about seven, seven to 10 days old, that kind of an yeah, age. Yeah, when they're just starting to scoot around and try to you get to You see them scoot around, and what they're doing they're is they're swimming. They've got these, they never get back up on their legs. They never get up like this. They've always got their legs out to the side, really out to the side like this. The legs they look like the a little seal. They're like a little seal, and they just scoot around with their front legs more than anything, and they kind of swim. So why is this a problem? Well, it's a problem for two reasons. One of the things you'll see is that the puppy develops a flat chest because it's laying on a hard surface all the time, it's never getting off his chest, and it will have an alarmingly flat chest. And so that is something that you absolutely can correct fairly quickly by doing nothing more than taping his legs up. So the things that you should be doing is number one, you've gotta have a traction surface at the bottom of the whelping box they're in. They've gotta have something that they can get their little legs on and get some friction. If it's really slippy, like a piece of plastic, then they will have this problem all the time. So the first thing is put a towel down, put a pee pad down, give them something so they can get their legs underneath them and have the ability to stand up and not have these legs just splay out. Right, that's the first Some thing. Some kind of traction. Some them. kind of traction. The next thing is when you start to see this behavior, and you'll typically not see it in the smaller puppies. So the first sign you've got this going on is you'll see the bigger puppies where they're doing this swimming thing. Now, Remember, when they are first born, puppies are not gonna be getting up on their legs. So this is not something you're doing in the first four or five days of their, of their birth. It's more something that shows up about the point that their eyes are opening up about day 10, something like that. So, but when you see this, legs out to the side, and, and some of the puppies are getting up, and the, one of the two of the puppies are not, it's time to tape their legs up. So how do you do it? So, for the purpose of this, I'm gonna use some electrical tape. And the reason for that is it's got a good contrast, and you can see what the heck I'm doing. Tammy likes the uh, first aid tape, the white, about the same width first aid tape. Band-Aid first aid tape. Yeah, and the reason you like that, Tammy, is because it doesn't stick so much to their fur. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So if you get the other cheap uh, Band-Aid first aid tape, it's not very good, but the original Band-Aid first aid tape comes in better. a roll, comes in a roll, isn't it? Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, well, both, they both do okay. in a little white container. Yeah, we're not talking about stickers, we're talking about a strip. It comes right, roll. right. Now, you can use this too. There's nothing wrong with using this. Um, it just doesn't seem like quite the right thing to use the electrical tape for, but it right. works fine too. It pulls okay. too much hair off, and it well, actually, the, you see the skin raising up, and it's like. Yeah, it is going to pull owie. some hair off, but it'll yeah. all grow back. So, 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 how do you do this? All right, so this is a puppy that normally its legs are going to be out like this. So, what do you do? So what you do is, is you pull the legs in, and I'm just gonna use my knees to hold the legs here. And then you take some tape. And, and you're gonna do this right around, not by the ankles, but the next joint up. So it's up around the equivalent of their knees is where you're gonna be doing this. And you, what you wanna do is you wanna pull these legs together. If they're pushed out, you wanna rotate them in, and you wanna leave a small gap between them. And that way they've got a bit of a base to walk on. So here we go. So the first one here, I'm gonna, almost always they're out this way. So we are going to stick this tape from the back side and we're gonna rotate this tape around. So it's around the leg. And we're gonna, see how when I do this, it pulls it around. Then we're gonna rotate this leg around as well. I'm gonna get some tape ready here. I'm gonna rotate this, got my thumb in between the two. So I've got a bit of, and I've, you see I've rotated this, rotated this leg. So the nice, nice orientation comes around this leg here. All right, and come back onto this side over here, and that's it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this off. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this down through the middle. So it comes through the middle, then back up the hole between their legs, wraps onto itself. That gives you 
pretty good stability. There it is right there. So there it is. So I've got the tape wrapped around in the middle as well. So there you can see it. So there we go. See this leg here? Could have got this rotated a bit more, but look, don't worry about it. The effect of this, what happens now is the puppy now can't get its legs out to the side and it's forced to get up on its legs like this. Can you see this okay, Tammy? Uh-huh. So it's forced to get up like this and you will now see the puppy start, it'll look really awkward to start with, but it will adapt to this within oh, yeah. minutes, within five or 10 it'll minutes. It'll use those thigh muscles to it'll pull those that, hips up and yep. it'll and, and start. It, it, and the only way, he can't swim anymore because he can't right. get traction. So you've got to have the traction service. I put a towel down, but it'll get its legs up underneath it. Oh, yeah. And he'll now start moving. And he'll very, be ready to go nurse on mama and he's going to yes, do it. Yes, exactly. And it will stop this flat chest surprisingly quickly. So it'll fix two things. It'll stop them from swimming. It'll stop the flat chest. So. How often should you put the tape on and off? Well, the answer is this tape is going to come off. Mum will pull it off. It'll only be on one leg. At the moment it's on one leg, it's not working very well because they're not tying the two legs. Because the whole idea behind this is to tie the two legs together. And sometimes mum leaves it alone. So Sometimes mum's in love. Sometimes the other puppies will start nibbling on it. But when it comes off, look and see how the, how the puppy's but doing. But when they're that young, it's not a problem. Yeah. Really. If the puppy's now getting up all by itself and doing things, leave it off. He may have to go put it back on again. It's very likely that you're going to do this for anywhere from three days to a week to get this to work properly. But don't wait. Get this done. You don't want to have a, you know, I see five, six week old puppies where people will ask me about this flat chest. It's much harder to fix it when they're five or six weeks old. It's very easy to fix it when they're two and a half to three weeks old. So start early, not late. You can't do any harm. The solution is simple. It works. I've, we have never, ever, ever not had this work. And we've, we've done this quite a bit, haven't we, Tammy, over the years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not uncommon to get a fat right. puppy. Mum's got great Well, we've milk. been in the business for 16 years, yeah, so I know we've puppies. learned it pretty quick from there. Yeah, but the symptoms are you've got a really big, fat, healthy puppy that's getting lots of milk, it's not suffering at all from, from lack of food, no. and it's nursing a lot, and it's swimming. And, and you absolutely want to get that sorted out quickly because you don't want this flat chest to develop. Yeah, that's nine it. chances out of 10, it's a fat puppy. It's got- Lots of milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots, lots of milk, milk. anyway. Yeah. So that's the fix. Tape up their legs, fix every time. Doesn't hurt them, they won't complain. They won't scream or anything else. Um, and uh, lo and behold, within you know, a few days to maybe a week or maybe two, it's all fixed. All right. All right. Anything else to add to that, Tammy? No, no, no. All right, so um, www.lovemypups.com, my breed and supply. We have a number of products that we think you should be investing in for your dogs, our heated whelping systems, our incubators, our puppy care kits, our shipping systems for, for semen. These are all products developed by us, used by us work wonderfully well. Um, if you have comments, then please uh, put them down on, on the YouTube channel. If you like what you see, we'd really like it if you subscribe to us because that helps us. Um, if you think we have uh, missed some things or got things wrong, absolutely tell yeah. us what that is. And then we always have the, or you do, the question and answer Q and A yes. videos. So if, you, if you've got other questions that you'd like answered, drop us a line on the YouTube channel. Or if for you that. have any ideas yes. that come about. It's always a learning thing. Absolutely. If you've got a, a, something clever that you think you've learned, tell us about it. We'd like to know too yeah. so we can pass that on. All and right. spread the word. Spread the word. Have fun with your puppies. By the way, this is not just applicable to French Bulldogs. Any puppy. Yeah, any, any puppy. puppy. Any exactly. puppy at all. All right. So uh, from James and Tammy, we say goodbye and uh, have a great Memorial Day weekend. Look after your doggies and uh, have a safe and happy time. Bye. Bye everybody. <laughs>